Hello YouTube. So I want to show you my new vacuum chamber. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that I tried for some time to play with PVD vacuum metallization with some success, but nothing too great so far. This was my previous chamber. Hmm. You can call it a chamber, but it's just a jar. It worked so far, at least to get a feeling for how things work. But, oh, hello, cat. That's one of my two cats. No, he doesn't go in here. This is my new chamber, much better. I found this on eBay and it was a really lucky find because the lower flange is a ISO 250 and that's a quite a common standard so I can use a blank off and or in between them and bolts to hold everything in place so I don't have to worry about everything coming loose and that's nice but the top flange has an o-ring groove with an o-ring so I can use just any flat surface to seal it the problem is finding something to seal it using a piece of glass just any glass won't work because from the inside to the outside it's just one atmosphere difference but one atmosphere over this area means about 500 kilograms so I have to use something strong so this is what I found it's a really nice telescope blank and it's really thick it's 250 25 millimeters and is not plain old soda lime glass this is borosilicate quite strong we have a hole here or the uh, magnetron you use this to hold the magnetron just a screw well it's just a screw but there is something special about it I've cut a groove on its side why? because in vacuum everything has to be able to vent you have a if you have a air pocket in the back it has to have a path to go outside or it will be just like a leak and you won't get a good vacuum on the back of the glass with this piece of aluminium with a o-ring proper Viton I guess and this is my brand new magnetron took me about a day on a leather to cut it okay we have two screws here that hold Or target. Okay, so this is a silver coin. 
why silver because it's unreactive so if you have junk inside your vacuum chamber it will not react with it and you will get silver and these are the magnets one ring and one cylinder with a backing plate that's just a coin so why it's the center one bigger because this is so called unbalanced magnetron the field lines will spread outside and you get a bigger area of deposit on the back we have holes why so many holes the center one it's obviously for the holder this to go to the screws here that hold the coin but this two what are they for? Well, inside a magnetron you have a pocket of air and you have to have a path for it to escape easily. Just like with this groove here. The two screws also have grooves on their sides. It's important in vacuum details like this. Okay, so I will just assemble everything and show you how it works. We have this piece of plastic, it's a single sided PCB, we'll turn it into a double sided one, I guess. I'll have to clean everything because it's important in vacuum not to have grease on things or you won't get a good vacuum. Okay, so I'll clean everything and get back to you to show you how it works. This is how it looks when it's assembled. Everything is ready to go. If you'll excuse me one second. <sighs> okay. And this is how it looks. There is something important, important missing. This. What's this? This is a blast shield. Just in case. We put them on top. So, if something happens I'll still be able to see. Everything is ready to go. Let's turn on the pressure gauge. The vacuum pump. Oh, this. This is a four line trap. I use it. Um, just in case vapors from the pump go to the vacuum chamber to stop them. Now let's turn this on.
this is gonna take a while. I'll just be back when it's ready to well, a couple of minutes later. 96 microns. This is almost ready to go. This is in hundreds, so 40, it's actually 400. Okay, let's turn this thing on. We have plasma at about three hundred volts. Mm. Pressure is still dropping. Interesting fact about this: below a certain pressure, you can't start the plasma. You have to have it already running, or you have to increase the pressure, or it won't start. Now, another thing I want to tell you about the silver. I also tried copper, but copper to get a proper sputtering of copper, it's hard. Copper is really reactive, it will just react with junk that you have inside the vacuum. You need a really, really good clean vacuum to, to properly sputter copper. Still dropping. I think it's I'm not sure if you can see this properly on the video but it's getting quite shiny the voltage also rises with the pressure I mean as the pressure drops you need higher and higher voltage I'm gonna try something just for fun because I think it's almost done I will stop the plasma and show you that this pressure it won't start again and now I turn it on again but it won't start 
the voltage goes up like crazy because there is no load from the magnetron but it won't start at 22 microns well make that 21 it will go lower than 20 but 20 is a good pressure to scooter silver I guess okay let's turn this off let's vent the chamber don't have a proper vent valve so I'll just loose this a little Okay, now oh let's turn off the power supply first I don't want all the voltage going through me yeah this should be safe You'll have to excuse me one second. And let's see. Mm. Take this out. I hope you can see this. Mm. It's quite shiny. Let's see how conductive it is. The corner is not properly metalized. goes almost to the corner but not quite so I guess that's about the area I can metalize right now I have to try to make a turntable to rotate the things that I want to metalize if I want to get bigger things okay so that's it for now hope you like it comment tell me what you think and subscribe if you like it more like this will follow for sure